Hello everyone and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Squash. Special K. And The Mingo. Tonight we're doing Basil Hayden's Dark Rye. It's Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey blended with Canadian Rye and a port. Port wine? Is that port is in port wine? I hope is so. I love means? port wine and I love rye bread, so this is going to be interesting. This is my favorite whiskey so far. Uh, in, my, in my price range. The only reason that... <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, it's about 40, 35, between 35 40, to 45 yeah. bucks, depending on where you get it. Right now, I believe it's on sale at certain Kroger's for about 31 The benefits of being in Kentucky. Oh, that color is weird. In the, in the glass. Yeah, it looks very light, but then immediately got super dark. It's got red. Yeah. Huh. That is so It's got a weird red. red. Yeah, yeah. It could be from the port, maybe? Yeah, I would say so. But I will tell you, it's good stuff. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's got a weird red hue to it. Um, it's very dark. Pretty light on the nose. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it's not super hot. Like I'm telling you, this is going to be something for people that don't like the burn of whiskey or bourbon. This goes down so smooth. Dark fruits. I'm, I'm coming from vodka. A little bit of rye. Like, eh, burn's just part of the equation. Yeah. Like... Dark fruit and rye. Uh, yeah, like some plums or tiny well, bit of vanilla. Grapes. But uh, a little bit. All right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Eighty proof, by the way, if I didn't say it already. That is the smoothest. That is really smooth. Had. That could get me in trouble. F yeah, that's why I like it so much. <laughs> <laughs> this, I brought a bottle here a while ago to do a review, and we didn't review it that night. And then I took that home and I drank it. That was your mistake. And then I went and I got another bottle and I took it home and I drank it. And then it's my like sister four... got this for me for Christmas. And as you can see, I almost drank it all. That's, so... that's me with the Jameson Black Barrel. I was like, oh, I drank it all. I was supposed to save <laughs> some for review. Like... Uh, I think it's, what is it, Jefferson Reserve is on sale. It, normally it's $58 a bottle. Right now I think that Kroger has it for 36 What? That's a good deal. Actually. I can think I got Jefferson's small batch for like 20 or super small batch or something. Anyway, um, very, it's got a lot of uh, prune, prune up front. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's very pruney up front. It goes um, down so smooth. Which I'm okay with. It. I know pr prune is a flavor that people either like love or hate. You it's know got what a, I mean? a tiny bit of a, like a tanginess to it. I think it's, again, it's like a, a dried, more dried fruit mm -hmm. in there. Um, the barrel is like there, but it's not as prominent no, as you get like, like a bourbon. It's like yeah. hidden almost. Yeah, I mean, I like it. It's smooth. Uh, I'm not a huge rye guy. That being said, I don't I don't hate rye. I mean, I would yeah. absolutely I would drink. I rye need to drink more rye. Rye. Yeah, more rye. I'm more I'm a, I'm a rye guy. Uh, yeah, I definitely I definitely like rye, but uh, yeah, I, there's not a lot of like good rye are expensive. So yes. you're gonna you're talking about mixers. Yeah. And, that's why I, I think this is a really good choice. Pike Forty Hill. bucks. Forty bucks is not bad for this. So uh, if you don't know where Basil Hayden's, it's it's Jim Beam. Basil Hayden's is Jim Beam. If you didn't know. Um, that being said, we're gonna go ahead and rate this straight. I think straight for the price for the type for being a blend. Um, it's pretty flavorful for a blend. I'm gonna go with a. I'll go with an eight. I think it's a solid eight for sure. What do you guys think? Uh, I am going to give it. An eight as well. I, I really like it. Now I was very excited when you said port because you know I love port wine. It's like my favorite style of wine because I prefer sweet wines. I don't like dry wines. Um, also, I love rye bread. I love anything rye. So I was like rye whiskey up my alley, and I was correct. No, this is this is phenomenal. I was introduced it's so to smooth this too. Home. Like yeah. I was at my aunt's house, and she says she does not leave the house with an whether there's an empty bottle there like there will always be a bottle at her house of this yeah i mean uh, and i'm the same choice. way because so far this is my favorite just because when i was younger you know experimenting with alcohol mm -hmm. you get that burn in your head and then you can't like every time you drink you get that yeah, you have chill. one bad experience and you're like oh no but yeah, then i had yeah. this and i was like i can drink this and i fucking love it yeah it's so good uh so i would give this a nine uh the only i'm taking off a full point because of the price but I think that for something like that, forty dollars not that bad. No, right. forty is just fine for that. Yeah. for this. Uh, so yeah, I'll give it a nine, just because I'm a little biased because I love that stuff. Yeah, uh, Basil Hayden's fun fact: they actually tried to, uh, well, they've been trying to gear the war product towards women. Interesting. Uh, yeah. So not, I mean, they don't actively come out and say Spot it. Spot is okay with it. She says it's better than most, but she still will not drink it. 
So mm -hmm. as always, we uh, we will mix it. We'll use a mixer. Now some of us don't prefer mixing it, but we do it because some of the people who will watch this review do prefer mixing their bourbon rice yep. or whatever. So we always try it both. We have to explain that every time. And if the fathers, the channel. Fathers, Father, if always. you're watching this, I'm sorry. I, I tried. Yeah. To, I told them not to do it. But <laughs> we do it for the fans. But we have to do it. That's yeah. right. We do it for the gram. All right, so color, oh, it's ginger ale now, so yeah. one thing it does do is bring out a lot more wood and earthiness to it. I the ginger ale. Mm -hmm. um, I get less of the dark fruit in there, so maybe oh, you yeah. eat that, so let's taste it. It's a tad bit sweeter smelling, too, which, I mean, it's ginger ale. So. That's weird. It's weirdly tangy. I like it better straight. I'm going to go ahead and start with that. It almost has a box oh, pudding, like... Weird yeah. bitterness to it almost. This might not. That's weird. This might not be the best mixer to go with it. I think that ginger that ale's might be it. ginger ale's almost the perfect the, mixer for most. For most, but what I'm saying is maybe because it, it has kind of off the oddball. Uh, well, it could be. Well, notes I mean, in it, you know. Again, my personal opinion. I think I would throw maybe like one ice cube in it or even rocks. Yeah, um, yeah. That's it's not really. That, that's how I do my ice cube. Anyways. This is pretty like it's pretty low proof, so it probably better with just like stones right that if way it was, you a, higher, it if it was a higher proof then i might throw, a, throw an ice cube ice cube in it but yeah uh yeah i do also prefer it straight um but that being said it is got a lot of i kind of almost want to so. try it with a different mixer but that's too much work yeah i mean there's there's <laughs> old lemonade over there so yeah uh, it's i mean that has lemonade in it so yeah. you know yeah uh mm. yeah pass on the mixing yeah. uh if you do mix it keep it simple so, maybe some coke or rc maybe but i recommend not I mean, not mixing uh, personally if you like bourbon if you drink if you're gonna buy a bottle this good okay. you're not gonna mix it to each yeah. his own you say that now right. but i know people who buy 150 I, bottles of peerless yeah. and mix it so that's boggles my mind mm -hmm. mm, sometimes, you know. sometimes it needs to be mixed like sometimes uh, it just brings out I don't now, know. me personally, when I get to the higher proof stuff, I like to put like maybe like a droplet of water or like one ice cube when I get something, mm. generally something over 100 proof. Or basically yeah. anything that's barrel proof. I like, personally, yeah, yeah I like, that, that was I like the ice, yeah. I like ice cubes. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people like theirs room temp. Uh, I like mine cold. So I either need to put it in the fridge, put it in the freezer. I don't like put it. An ice cube in yeah, it. I don't like it like in the freezer, but I could put it in the yeah. fridge for like 15 minutes. That is the out. only thing I like. Cold. Super, super cold. Yeah, I, I yeah, because then you can't like taste it. That's the point. <laughs> like... Vodka, it's gross. <laughs> All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment right there or right there. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Patreon, and Instagram. I'm Special K. I'm Squash. And I'm the Mingo. Thanks for watching. Thank you.